hey guys what's up this is the sixth video to our video series creating a notepad application using visual basic 6.0 so in this video i think this would be the last video to the series and in this video i will just make this new function new whatever to operate so currently when i click on new nothing happens so let's make something happen things are getting really slow as you can see from here uh, okay then I click on new well, when we click on new thus we have to execute the save function so call save click let's call this function and let's see what happens so write something here write any crap here then click on new okay okay before that let's clean our text area so text area dot text is equal to nothing so this way you can clean it so write some content here then click on new it will ask you to save here you save it as you want no issues so it, what is this? seven last and this eight save it here and then it's a fresh fresh notepad to work on. so actually at this moment i will take the pleasure to open a real notepad application and let's see what happens when you click on save well nothing visually happens right visually nothing happens okay. click on new then something is happening okay it was already saved so no issues there well this is it i guess uh view help uh, i don't have any help content here no pdf here so i'll not be having this view help what i'm going to uh, do is help then this would pop up the about notepad thing well it says all this nice things here but i'm going to leave it pretty simple and you'll see in a minute why and how well what is this no this is not the one let's close this it's pretty distracting now okay so this is it now when i click on help there will be a message box so msg is equal to msg bs message box plus write something whatever is the writing let's make it vb information this will be the like blue and white eye sign that appears and the text is written as text that's going to be written here is fish not visual let's give a shot vb notepad application created by codeworks vb notepad application created by codeworks something more nope nothing uh no nope, nothing so this is it let's check it once i click on help and vb notepad application created by codeworks this is the i sign with the blue thing in the background well this project one here let's change it actually let's see if i can change it comma something else yeah title title would be about vb notepad okay let's run it i, I click on help about vb notepad okay. so let's do something instead of our notepad let's change it to vb notepad these are the, just the few fine tunings you may not do this it should not affect anything so it's vb notepad uh whenever i click on save okay it's it's okay fine uh, no issues okay so this is more or less a complete application visual basic notepad it works perfectly you can change the font size as and when you want 
into 14 pool and let's say really, really nice phone style i like the phone style sans is it the s e r i okay i don't know it's it may not be the aerial also good okay aerial is here so this is the font you can change the font you can write text you can file open file new file save as and exit here then help help is also working perfect this application is working perfectly i love this application and since i love this application so much i'm definitely going to put a link put a github okay i will put up this application in github and you can work on it you can see the code and to be really honest with you i'm proud of myself for creating this application this is nice okay let's not jabber anymore about what i have created now it's time for you to improvise upon it there are many places where you can improvise such as i'm going to show you one place where you can improvise i'm not going to do it anymore it's your job now so when i click on save as you can see save as type there's nothing here make it all files or make it dot txt whatever it's not defined and whenever the file name suppose whatever the file name if the user writes dot txt then what would happen is there's going to be a file created with this name dot txt dot txt like whatever is here it would be um it it would whatever is here dot txt would append this right so name dot txt dot txt so you can change that you can put a validation code like if there's a dot txt there you remove that like it's a better idea to remove whatever is there after a dot because uh, in that way like the user may write file name dot jpg like this it makes no sense right so what whenever you find a dot after a dot remove everything well then you remove everything and then you append dot txt so this is one of the improvisations then you can also print it print the page um, i'm going to do it here uh so this is all for this video i hope you like this video i like it so i hope you also like it and i really hope you enjoyed this to watch more videos from codeworks and do share this video it would help me a bit so thank you so much and do it a thumbs up bye bye take care